Hello and welcome. Getting started with Odoo. In this video, we will create our first contact. I will also give you explanation about the blue field, the lookup fields, the tooltip, the tab key, the create and edit possibility, the search more possibility, the back and forward button, and also the more button and the print button. Well, let's go for it. Now here I'm back in the instance I've just created. And I'm also in the section of the customer. Well, everywhere in Odoo, when you want to create something new, a new data, you have the create button always appearing. Well, let's just click on it. And now in this case, I'm entering the form view of the partners. The first thing we see is the blue field. Now, what is a blue field? A blue field is a mandatory field. This means that if you enter nothing in that field, you will not be able to save it. So let's start with entering a name, a company name. I will just select is a company. We will talk about it later in CRM videos. Next point are different type of lookup fields. How you can recognize the most of the lookup fields? Well, actually, in those fields, you see an arrow. When you click on the drop down, you see here that we have different choices. Well, this lookup field, the tax field, is actually a many to many type of lookup field. This means that I can select more than one possibility for that field. For example, here, voila, I've selected the IT service and corporate. And that's one type of lookup field. Let's go to another example and go to the countries. As you can see here, this is a many to one lookup field. This means that I can select all of a list of different countries and add one country for that company. What do we see beneath are two different options. First, the search more. Well, what's that? Well, if you have a list that is very long and you don't know really what you are looking for, well, you can click search more and uh, a window appears with all possibilities. And we use here actually the search option to find what we'd like to have. For example, I'm going to enter two letters, FR, France, and now you can see here that Adu proposes me some possibilities. Well, I can just now select one by just clicking on it and make it appear in the field. And with back. But Odoo is also clever. You can also do it from inside the field, for example. If you know which are the first letters, you can see here that Odoo proposes you directly one of his answers. And whether I click on it to select it in the field, or I can use actually the key tab to select it. And there we go. Also, for the purpose, for example, here I go to the title. Yeah, I have the possibility to select between two different titles. Well, let's assuming that I would like to have a title that is not existing yet. Okay, well, by entering it, yeah. And because Odoo doesn't recognize it, well, Odoo proposes me actually to create it. Or if I'm going to go further and uh, entering every detailed information about that specific uh, title, for example, I click on create and edit. And you can see here that the form of the titles is appearing and I can fulfill this form. Click on save and now it is appearing. But also 
the data I've just entered is also now available in that list for the next choices. Okay. A third type of lookup field, for example, is a one-to-many. Well, a one-to-many, you can find it, for example, here with contacts. When I click on create, for example, I will create the first contact named David. I can add more to it. For example, I've said, OK, save a new and will enter, for example, Mark. Now we'll save and close. As you can see here, I have two possibilities for one company. Let's save it because when you enter data, you always need to save in order to keep it in your database. So we'll give to the last view. I have now, for example, three type of data. When I go back in one of the form view, we have also our back and forward button. Well, this allow us actually to quickly go to the next record or just the previous record. And last but not least, we have our print button. This print button actually shows all associated reports that are available for that specific view. In the more button, we will have a look at those two possibilities here. You can either delete the data you've just created or just duplicate it to go faster by encoding. All those functionalities, you will find them back in all the views or the business app you installed. I hope you enjoyed it and let's do it in your own instance. Thank you.